let's not talk about SAP's replication server, in short, RS. SAP Replication Server is a powerful software tool designed to help organizations replicate data from one database to another. It's commonly used in scenarios where data needs to be kept synchronized across multiple systems. SAP Replication Server supports real-time replication. It also provides high level of flexibility and customization. It supports a wide range of database platforms including SAP ASC, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, IBM DB2 and others. SAP Replication Server supports both inbound and outbound integration. It works with asynchronous mode. Let's take an example. In your organization, you have a source database and a target database and you plan to keep the source and targets in sync. In such scenario, you can use SAP Replication Server. Replication Server ensures the data is consistent, real-time synchronization, and near real-time replication. Replication Server supports log-based replication from and to heterogeneous databases. For HANA to HANA replication, we can use trigger-based replication. As mentioned earlier, it supports various database systems. Let's now see how Replication Server works. SAP Replication Server works by capturing changes made to a source database and transferring those changes to one or more target databases. The replication process is typically set up to run continuously, so changes made to source database are immediately transferred to the target database in real time. As you can see in the diagram, we have a source database and a target database. In the source database, we have a replication agent that monitors the changes in the source database. Once it detects any change in the source database, it replicates the changes to replication server which will take care of the replication process to the target database. Internally, replication server uses log-based replication. This involves monitoring the database transaction log which contains a record for all changes made to the database and capturing the changes as they occur. Once the changes are captured, the replication server applies them to the target databases. Replication server designed to be highly scalable fault-tolerant, reliable and efficient in handling the data transactions between source and target databases. What are the use cases for SAP Replication Server? One of the primary use cases is business continuity and disaster recovery, data integration, reporting and analytics, data migration and high availability. Let's now have a quick recap quiz. True or false? Log-based replication supports both DADL and DML transactions. True or false? Replication Server only supports on-premise integration. Let me know your answers in the comment section below. If you like the video, consider giving a like or subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.